a little experiment to demonstrate how water moves through plants. So how do plants move water around so that it reaches all of its parts, especially the highest point of the plant? If you think roots, then you're right. If you look at these flowers, we know that if they don't get water, they die. But how does the water move inside them? What pumps the water all the way up the flowers against gravity? There doesn't seem to be any force pushing the water into the flowers. They're just sitting in water. So we're going to do a fun little experiment. You can do this easily at home. All you need is some white flowers, water, and food coloring. Alright, so I'm going to take the white flowers and cut the ends off of the stems. Why? Well, as I sit in water for a while, the cells and the tissues start to die. So by cutting off a few inches, we're exposing the fresh tissues, which can cause the stems to take up water more easily. So now I put these in water, and now I add the food coloring. Why am I doing this? What are your predictions? Will the flowers change color? Will they not? How will we know that the water has traveled all the way up to the top of the flower? I guess we're just gonna have to wait and see. Ooh. Science is amazing. All right, so everything's set up. And now we just have to wait and see. So how did that happen? Why did that happen? There's a few things that happen to move water from the roots up to the top of the flower. But first we need to talk about water and some of its properties in order to understand. Water molecules stick to each other by hydrogen bonds. When water molecules are bound like this, it's referred to as cohesion. Like when we say something is cohesive, we mean that it fits together, it sticks together, and that's the same thing here. But water can also stick to other things besides other water molecules. When they do this, it's called adhesion. So let's use the example of drinking through a straw. This is actually extremely similar to how plants move water through themselves. You're applying a suction force at the top with your mouth and that pulls the water up. And this is like transpiration in plants. Water is constantly evaporating out of the flowers and that also causes a negative pressure, like when you suck on the straw, and that pulls more water up to the, f the top of the flower. At the same time, like when you suck water up through a straw, water fills the straw and acts like one big water molecule. Water in plants does this too. The water molecules stick together by cohesion to form one big complex that fills the plant's inner water column called the xylem or the plant straw, if we want to call it that. And remember we talked about adhesion? Like when you put a straw in water, you'll notice water droplets sticking to it, even when you aren't drinking. Water will immediately start moving up the sides of the straw because water is adhering to the sides of the straw. So this is the same with water moving in the plant xylem. The adhesion between the water and the walls of the xylem, as well as the cohesion between the water molecules, causes what is called capillary action, which makes the water inch its way up the xylem towards the top. So why did I add the food coloring to the water? I did this so that you could see how water moves upwards. In plants, it's pretty much impossible to see because it is all happening internally. So the food color was added as a sort of indicator so we could see 
that the colored water got into the flower part of the plant. Because before the food coloring was added, the flower was white. So the changing color that we're seeing must mean that the water successfully moved upward, up the plant xylem to the flower and caused the color of the petals to change. So that was transpiration, cohesion, and adhesion made more visible to you to show you how plants move water throughout themselves. Thanks for watching.